already. Now, I have gone through and went and took all the seals out of this for starter reassembly. Now, we have a plethora. Of Would you say I have a plethora? Seals that need to go onto this thing. Now, the thing with seals is you need to lube. A lot of people like using, some people like using this blue assembly goo. Some people use the green assembly goo. I've got a container over there. The green stuff is stronger than the blue stuff as far as tackiness. Good for paste bearings into place and other, other things personally. Make all the jokes you want, but this, this stuff works great. You take some of this and mix it with a little bit of a STP oil stabilizer treatment, and it creates a really good lube for these O-ring gaskets. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and start with the F clutch piston, the big one. So there's only one actual seal on the piston itself the rest actually go on the hub so you take one of the big o-rings oh giggle all you want listen we give away our secrets and i'm gonna be fed Most of these people, most of the people who might actually consider doing this are still going to end up doing it wrong. That's fine. I'll just tell you, yeah. Am I not allowed to make something enjoyable out of this? People don't always want to know how the cake's made or the sausage, the sausage is made, I think, right? True, and yet there's still some of those people who want to know how that's made. Uh -huh. I see this more as a teaching aid than anything. And who knows, the people who do try to do this and legitimately screw it up, that just means more work for us. Always go liberally with the lube. No such thing as too much lube. Always lube the part you're putting on and then lube your gaskets or your seals, your O-rings, whatever you want to call them. The connector. seems to be the, the going thing for most Ford products is, oh, it's just supposed to work. It isn't always the case. I missed one. Clean. Similar to disassembly. Ford likes to put it 
install in reverse order. Not all the way down. Make sure that snap ring goes into that groove. And it's in properly. You should not, you should barely be able to see that snap ring. See if I can get a little bit more movement out of it. Might just tap on the snap ring. It's even and it's seated, so we'll rock with it. Go ahead and do this one. It has a lip seal piston that gets replaced. This one doesn't have like one of these that goes with it. This one has this. And this one goes in the center. Again, O ring. Now these are cut a certain way, a square cut on the inside and rounded on the outside. The rounded edge always goes on the outside, these ones. Ask me why I memorized that. If you're committed, you can push down on that by itself and it'll probably see. I like using this because you can get dead center on it. You can feel either walk it or just press it down and it goes in straight. Spring lip seal. Now, since it is a seal, go very liberal with the lube because this will roll. Again, ask me how I know. back over here and grab your snap ring from your pile. Now another trick for when you're putting these in is, you know, there are some people that'll just ram the press all the way home. And some people, but it's never a problem. However, if you are unlucky enough to get this seal to start to roll as you're doing that, you completely ruined it. So as you're pressing it down, I 
everybody just has their own. Everybody's got a different way of doing it. Well, I can't remember where I laid stuff down half the time, so knowing where you laid stuff down is impossible for me. <laughs> Go and get more lube. I probably should have told him that he gave me the option of going. So just don't. I don't like doing work for free. Nobody does. So why, why do they expect us to? You wouldn't want me coming to your place of work and suddenly going, oh, I want that done for free. I know, I mean, find me a plumber and it'll come and just work in your house for nothing. Hey, right, you want to find me a plumber that's willing to replace my toilet for free? <laughs> Shit, I don't want to even have to replace that on my own for free. doesn't seem to be hitting. I don't know if something was blowing out those rings. Just pushes, flexes that. I mean, it's possible. But you can tell it just doesn't look like it's hitting at all. But I can't put the kind of pressure on it to get on there. It's in there. Do you need a band-aid? Let's see, I've got band-aids in my box if you need one. I don't need a barbecue. 
Well, I've got Star Wars band-aids too. Do you? I do. Simple. 